25 Road to Glory. I just finished the career of Matt Maher, who ended his career as a national champion and a Heisman Trophy winner. Maher went on to have a successful NFL career, married Cameron Brink. Now, naturally, Matt Maher II was a freak of nature, and he was born to play football, but he wasn't born to be a quarterback. Today, we'll be building a blue-chip four-star middle linebacker and following his entire career. We're building a middle linebacker, the anchor of the defense, and we've got three options. Field general, pass coverage, and run stop. I can rule pass coverage out right now. If I want to do pass coverage, I'm going to build a DB. I'm going to build a field general. Here's why. I love the idea of blowing people up and getting a huge hit, and that's where that ability hammer comes in. Improved hit stick attempts. Not only that, but we get access to the ability aftershock, where big hits produce increased wear and tear. So as our career progresses, if we can get platinum tier aftershock and hammer, we're going to be a monster. Oh my god, what is that? And here's our build. I feel like it's linebacker-esque. There's shades of my father, but we're only 18. Give us some time. I'm growing that beard out. I wanted to go for a Brian Erlacher build, and he's absolutely massive. Erlacher in his prime was 6'4", 258. I'm gonna go with 6'4", 250. I'm still massive. Should definitely be able to jump for some high passes. But I think any bigger than this, and I'm gonna start to move a bit awkwardly. It's the Cameron Brink in me, guys. My dad was only six foot. That's a big boy. I'm definitely gonna rock some tape, but I haven't earned it yet. We are 18 years old. Let's earn the face tape and some of the drip. But for now, this is our look. I look like an, an NPC, I'm not gonna lie. Now, first things first, I do get to choose my mental ability that I start with. I'm gonna go with winning time, increased composure late in close games. Late in close games is when I am needed the most. And this is our full build, gentlemen. 6'4", 250. Lots of abilities to upgrade. It's gonna be a lot of fun. The reporter wants to know what I'm interested in. I'd like to improve my abilities quickly. Eventually, I'd like to learn under a prestigious head coach. And I'm not playing for the same head coach all four years. So let's go to a school with strong academics. I shouldn't say that. Maybe I will play for the same school all four years. Now, we're a four-star blue chip. A lot of programs would start us today. Bowling Green, Troy, Navy, Indiana. Cincinnati Bearcats, a three-star program would start me right now. Arizona State, there's a lot of baddies there. Also a lot of chlamydia, just saying. Three and a half stars, West Virginia would start me. But I've got a different idea. Now remember, if you play in four games or less, you will automatically be redshirted your freshman year. And as fun as it would be to jump right into the action, I could get a ton of skill points and a ton of XP and start my career as a redshirt freshman at potentially an 80 plus overall. The Ball State Cardinals are smoking the most potent weed I've ever seen because they would not start me over these bums. That's insane. But frankly, the perfect program for me to go to right now is Georgia. Georgia has some of the best linebackers in the game. I'm a literal walk-on, so I won't be seeing the field, but I will learn under some of the best coaching and the best players in college football. This is the best way to guarantee that I'm a redshirt freshman, get great reps, and start my official college career on the right foot. We're committed, baby! A four-star prospect going to learn under Kirby Smart. And who knows, maybe by the time my senior year rolls around, I'll be a dominant threat, and Kirby Smart would be very happy to have me back. Go dogs. Also would be pretty cool if we just randomly won the national championship this year and then I technically have a ring. And I'll be playing this entire road to glory on Heisman five minute quarters. I may increase this quarter length for the biggest of games. As a middle linebacker, I will be the cornerstone of the defense and I can have a big impact, but I'll be almost solely reliant on my offensive sim to get the ball in the end zone. So going to a program with a good offense will be really important in the future. For right now, it's time to ride the bench. And I gotta say, I look pretty damn clean in Georgia red. I'm like the black Matthew Judon. With four skill points right now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get bronze tier hammer for improved hit stick attempts. You need 85 hit power, I've got exactly that. So we'll take it. If I wanna get that to silver, I need 86 hit power. So I'd have to put one point into power, five skill points right there. Georgia really does have like the deepest middle linebackers in this game. Raylan Wilson is a freak. 94 speed, 92 excel, and he's pass coverage. All three of these dudes are sophomores, so barring insane injuries, this is the easiest red shirt we're ever gonna get. For my first week as a Georgia Bulldog, I'm gonna do some training with the team. My first ever drill will be chase and tackle. We're just on the opposite side of rushing attack. We gotta get this running back down. And he's a star, so this may not be easy. I do. That's Trevor Etienne, isn't it? Okay. 
This is what we call hazing, gentlemen. We're, we're hazing the freshman right now by putting me in this drill. Just wait, be patient. Oh my God, stop it, bro. You're just messing with me. Gentlemen, I'm gonna show you the highs and the lows. And I don't think there's much more rock bottom than my first snap as a redshirt freshman getting absolutely clowned by Trevor Etienne right now. Somehow, some way, dude, stop. That's just not cool, dude. I have a family. My mother is Cameron Brink. All right, my first ever drill is bronze. The rest of my redshirt season at Georgia was honestly a blast. I got in as many practice reps as I could, continued to accumulate skill points, keep my body in shape, and I do need to maintain a 2.0 GPA in order to be eligible as a redshirt freshman, so I hit the books here and there. I raised up a couple baddies on my dorm room floor, got hit on by my professor for a free A. She was like 55 years old, but experienced. And yes, I spent some time <laughs> driving the upper class. And Georgia had a really solid season. A solid season for Georgia is an understatement. It's the SEC championship, and we're taking on the Texas A&M Aggies, who are fifth in the nation. We are third in the nation. We finished the regular season 11 and one, with our sole loss of the season coming in the very first week against Clemson. It was a classic redshirt season. We never saw the field even once. You couldn't even sub me in when we were blowing out FCS Midwest, like, Whatever, coach. This is what I wanted. Before the SEC championship, I want one more shot at Trevor Etienne. It would be really funny if you could injure your teammate in drills. Like right before the biggest game of the season, I'm gonna go lay out Trevor Etienne. Just kidding, Trevor Etienne's probably gonna snap my ankles. <laughs> That's for Cameron Brink, buddy. This is already off to a much better start. Ah, like dude, if he's gonna do that, how do you want me to make that tackle? Oh, angle, he's so much faster than me. And he breaks the tackle. Psycho. I got a cut stick. I'm honest. I think it's my best chance to get consistent tackles. Georgia gives and Georgia takes. I get to red shirt, but I also play these dudes in practice. Honestly, probably the best reps of my life because whatever program I go to after this, there's a low chance they got one of these dudes. You think I don't see that spin move enough online? You think I want to see it here against the CPU? Come on, Maher, there we go. Good. Now we're talking, that's a silver? You're mine now, buddy, no more spin moves today. I think one more tackle, I might get gold, maybe. It's gotta be a good hit though. Hey, we'll take it. It's a big improvement from the start of the season though. It's a big improvement and just kidding, I had no shot at And even though I won't get a rep, I do want to see how my team plays. We're 91 overall, Texas a and 88. And frankly, I know the program we're about to head to isn't going to look like this. So I just want to see the SEC championship. It's 14 to 10 at the end of the first. A lot of scoring, but it's slowing down here in the second. And it's all Texas A&M in the second. 26 to 21 at half. 26-24. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. This game is close. It's a bummer you can't actually watch the place progress, but ETN gets us down to the goal line, punched in by Robinson. It's 39 to 36. Texas A&M scores to tie it up. PAT for the lead. And they just victory formationed. What an SEC championship game. I can only be so frustrated as I was basically a glorified water boy. Texas A&M, Connor Weigman, Five touchdowns, 300 yards. Will Howard wins the 2024 Heisman. <laughs> no way. Now, despite our SEC championship loss, we're still in the college football playoffs, taking on the Michigan Wolverines. This is truly my easiest chance at a ring, so let's see if we get past Michigan. Hold your horses, gentlemen. We win the game in the first round, oh, and shit. now it's a rematch against the Aggies, who are ranked first in the nation now. It's gonna be a dog fight, no pun intended. Oh, Texas A&M, 2-0 against Georgia in our first season. We lost 24 to 21. Texas A&M then beat Ohio State, USC beat Notre Dame, and in the national championship, USC beats Texas A&M. Bulldogs fans were very big USC fans this year. And after an uneventful first season, we somehow went up to a 78 overall, and we've got 10 skill points as we hit the transfer portal as a redshirt freshman. Right here, gentlemen, 
is where our career really starts. We're absolutely gonna go to a program where we are a starter. The question is where? A school like Arizona State does sound like a lot of fun. Three-star program in the Big 12, and it'd be a nice place to start. They also run a 4-2-5, so I'd be one of few linebackers in there. I, I kinda like that. We could technically be a second string at Oregon, right? But this is the transfer porter for all teams, meaning Oregon could not only sign me, but they could also sign multiple other middle linebackers even better than me. So you gotta be careful when you pick your program. Second string doesn't always guarantee second string. I think the best case scenario is we go to a three or three and a half star program where the job security really does look solid. I kind of like the idea of going to Stanford. They run a base three, four. So there's a ton of linebackers out there. So even though I'm second string, I should get reps. And the senior's only an 83 overall, and I have a lot of skill points. Potentially, we take that starting spot, but even if we're not MLB one, I expect to see the field at Stanford. I'm gonna be a Stanford Cardinal. We're gonna stay in red. This time, headed to California, and we'll get a really good education too. Obviously, what's important. What did you say? Don't know if you heard, our starting middle linebacker sprained his ankle pretty badly. Trainer tell me it'll be about six weeks. You want your shot, here it is. Your defensive coaches are willing to work with you before your first start. Open field tackling, go through the playbook or work on coverage responsibilities. Let's work on open field tackling. Taking a look at this roster, our best player is Colin Wright, senior corner. We've got a stud outside linebacker. And then there's Josiah Galvin, who is really good, but again, he's injured. So I'm gonna get some serious reps right now. And we don't have a lot of competition. Maxwell Richardson, Maldonado, and Claybrooks. These guys aren't taking my spot. So all season long, I'm gonna get really good reps, whether I'm MLB one or MLB two. This was definitely the right program to come to. Although I don't think we're gonna cakewalk this schedule. We've got Colorado, North Carolina, Miami, SMU, Florida State, Boston College, Notre Dame. It'll be a big year. Let's use these skill points. Quickness would be all 10 of my skill points, but I do think it's important. We're gonna distribute these between power and run stopping. Quickness will have to come later. Five skill points on power, I'm up to a 77. Four skill points on run stopping, I'm up to a 79. My strength is 91, my hit power is 86. Tackle's now at an 88, block shedding at an 85. And one skill point left in reserves. For the first time in my career, wear and tear actually matters. We'll take some XP, work on our health, and study for just a little bit. We've got a pretty severe overall advantage on the Rainbow Warriors. I don't think this will be a tough game for us. Ooh, Stanford's got an all-black alternate with a matte black helmet. Wait, that's clean. I'm rocking those all-black unis. We requested that Hawaii wears all white for this game. How sick would it be, though, as a college football player, you're 19 years old, and you get to go to Hawaii for a football game. And it's your first start ever because the starter got injured. In fact, I'd be nervous is what I'd be. Honestly, a lot of people in the stadium. This stadium is usually empty. My first ever snap coming up here. Cover four palms means I've got the middle. It's gonna be tough because I wanna play on this camera angle, but when it's a pass, this is gonna be so useless. Well, not useless, go halfback. Intercepted? <laughs> I'm throwing blocks that I probably shouldn't be throwing. I could have got that brought back. That was almost a DPI. Hey, my first snap resulted in a pick six. It just wasn't me. Colin Wright, that's our 90 overall, the best player on this team. All right, if we think it's a run, we can stay on this. If it's a pass, I'm just gonna be a liability. Well, no, this is man coverage. Oh, here we go. First tackle, first tackle, assisted tackle. Second and 10, it's a pass. Does he want halfback? No, I had my zone though. Man coverage, I've got a blitz here. See if we can get home. Damn. I can already tell, middle linebacker is gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to impact the game. I've gotta make big plays. I've always gotta be there. This ain't gonna be easy. All right, I've got a QB spy here on first and 10. Oh, I gotta shoot this. I gotta shoot this. Beautiful. I didn't get the tackle, but I changed his direction. Zero blitz, can we get home? Second and 12, running back's blocking me. Heisman is no joke. I'm supposed to be blitzing here, but I think I'll just play coverage. Sorry, coach. Oh, I actually could have been so close to that. But I do get a tackle assist. How can I convince the CPU to throw a bad one? That's the question. First and 10, that's a draw. Man, I just missed it. Damn. Second and 15, I've got this zone right here. Oh, you know you want to throw something stupid, right? Oh, he found a dude. Why is quarterbacks a dog? All right, first and 10. We do have a big lead, but I just... I don't want to say useless, but okay, that's what I want. I want you to throw. I'm worthless. I'm 
worthless right now. Quick pass. Oh! Where are you throwing, Hawaii? Interception, Maher! And that's why we went 6-4, baby! That's a risky throw! It's 35-24. to 24. It's a two-possession game. We could we could lose this game. Guess they locked in slip screen. Now that's something I like to see, but dude, they block well. Colin Wright with a good wrap up. First and ten. We got Hawaii. Quick handoff there. Might have been a read option. I made my presence known, but I didn't get the tackle. This is tough. 35-27. Stanford does put up points. We needed that. They're gonna be, they just gotta be slinging the ball right now. Hawaii does. Play action. Throw short. Great tackle. Band up on number six here. He's going to throw. <gasps> Huge mistake. Oh, no. I got torched. Wait, that's... Did I lose my team the game? It's 42 to 42. It's overtime. I may have lost my team the game. We have to step up so big right now. That was all my fault. Reverse motion. Quick pass. Stop it. Is that game or do we need to score now? I just blew the game. I thought I could man him up so easy and I got torched. They probably love that look, dude. Seeing my big 6'4 ass try to man up their best senior wide receiver. All I gotta say is it's very difficult to get involved. At least in that first game, I've obviously got a learning curve to, to overcome, but defensively, I mean, Aaron Morris, the corner had 12 tackles. Our other corner had 13. Colin Wright at 11. The linebackers aren't even involved in this game. Did have the big interception. The big interception is basically the only thing that I contributed to this program. And then I blew my coverage. That was a tough game. The next few weeks for Stanford were a little frustrating. We lost a couple games we should have won. And in week five at two and two, our starter came back and that activated a position battle. Now I've been the starting middle linebacker for five, six weeks now. And coach asked me to stay a bit after practice. It might be time for a change at starting middle linebacker. Understandably, I mean, he was the starter and I blew the game against Hawaii. So we got to win two of three. I'm technically MLB2 once again, but if I win this, I'll maintain my starting spot. I feel like Brock Purdy. Make tackles to prevent the offense from gaining yards with the run. Well, we know this drill. We need 1,500, and guess what? That's not ETN. This is gonna be a hell of a lot easier. Let's see where he goes. Oh, right at the middle? <laughs> Shit. Whoa. Can we see that one more time, please? I'm actually God? Let's go for gold anyway. Show coach that we really deserve the spot. Just gotta keep the multiplier if we want gold. It won't be hard. Just gotta make every tackle nice. Ah, okay. That was just ugly. We went for gold anyway and got it. Great wrap up. It's the best I've ever done that. Trench battle. I haven't done this one yet. Beat blockers to reach the QB. Well, it's about to see what our pass rush, uh, our pass rush abilities look like. Not bad. Just gotta get the QB. Good start. Well, these drills are friendly because I should not be beating these blocks like this. I have like zero pass rush. Ooh. Hey, we'll take a gold on that one too. We've already secured our spot, but we've got a reaction test here. See how well we can perform. Jeez. Jeez. Gonna be running across the earth. This one's a little tough, dude. I'm too big and lanky for this. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Okay. And just like that, three for three. We weren't just gifted the starting spot. We actually earned it this time around. MLB won a big boost to Coach Trust. And hopefully, no more big mistakes in game. Ooh, we got winning time upgraded to silver. Fan favorite upgraded to silver as well. At midseason, we're taking on our first ranked opponent. SMU is sixth in the nation. They've never lost. I'm undefeated, never lost. And we're going into their stadium. We're five and two, so some improvements. I've got eight skill points. Let's get ready for this big game. I'll grab some XP, bring my health back to maximum, and my GPA is sitting at a 2-4. So we have to be studying every single week. I'll bump leadership up a bit, and that leaves us with nine skill points. I think I wanna take another shot at power. I can do power for six skill points. It doesn't take my overall up very much, maybe one point. But we now have 96 strength, 91 hit power, and 85 jumping. 
That's amazing for starting out. And we can afford to get silver tier hammer. So we've got a really solid ability for hit sticks and we've got 94 power. Next up on the list is gonna be quickness. It's a lot of skill points, but we'll just have to save up. Gonna rock the all white away uniforms for Stanford and hopefully have a really solid game here. Dude, eight and SMU, they've got a small stadium. They're killing it. All right, this could be such a massive win if we could beat an undefeated program. First and 10, the first play is a read option. I bit like crazy, but luckily number six was there to clean it up. Second and 10 now. I think I gotta stay on this camera angle for a bit. Dude, same play. Number six has got me twice. This one is a pass and he gets it off quick. Dude, this little white boy is going crazy over there. I just need to get as many reps as I can to understand this position better. I'm on the I'm on the D-line? Stop it. I'm making the executive decision to not do that. Oh, jet sweep, do it. Here we go. Oh my god, these guys have the best vision ever. Damn it. I thought I had that. Let's see what we can do here. First and ten. I'm gonna hover. It's a screen and I I do. This shit is no joke. Coach has seen enough, I'm getting pulled. SMU's got 10, Stanford, 14. We do have the lead. All right, we gotta be careful of this read option, dude. They love this read option. Motions him over, is this a right side run? It is, and I'm blocked. I just got put in the dirt. Second and nine. There's a handoff. I got the shed late. And I sort of assisted that tackle, but not really. I've gotta be a factor. There's a handoff right up the middle. <laughs> Our first solo tackle that I actually personally did. Third and 11, gotta be a pass. Let's cover our zone, boys. I've got half back in the middle. He doesn't take off. He throws haywire. That was great defense right there. That's a perfect example. That doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but we had that clamped. He had to throw it away and Stanford's gonna get the ball. I'm happy with that. We put up points. It's 21 to 10. There's a handoff right side, he cuts it back. Honestly, I did my job, I forced him inside. I have so much copium right now. I actually have an ungodly amount of copium. I'm manning up a wide receiver. And it was great man coverage. I learned my mistake. First and 10, read option. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. First and 10, there's the handoff up the middle. Went for 15. All right, I'm manned up on the running back here. Very well could be a run play. They're gonna have the blockers for it if it is. It's not, but it's a pass. Intercepted! Throw a block! He got flattened, but a huge stop for the Stanford defense. Would love to see that. I can't be selfish. We are beating one of the best teams in the nation right now. We may be ranked if we win this game. All right, this is a big blitz. I've got a lot of field to cover here. First and 10. Oh, it's a screen. Oh, I'm a... It was a trash angle. From that view, it's so hard to see. Second and eight, Tampa two. Let's just play our zone, play smart here. Okay, throws middle, huge hit, Maher! That's why we go silver tier hammer, that was a, ironically, I actually gave him the first down off that hit, but that was a huge hit. 28-20, there's a handoff SMU, it's a counter, but we got up on top of it that time. Day by day, we're getting better, boys. First and 10, they're closing in on the red zone. That's a handoff and it's all me! Body bags! A little CTE never hurt nobody. That's a huge play. 6'4", 250 coming at you. We stopped SMU. This could be the final drive. This could be all the marbles. First and 10. Can we bait him into making a bad throw? We can! Great coverage! Well, not a bad throw, but it's a coverage sack. It was spectacular defense. Ooh, I've got a purple. Got me in a left side purple here. No routes in my vicinity, Colin! Was that Colin Wright? That might have been our stud linebacker, but regardless, you gotta pick that ball off. We're going in a prevent here on third and 18. <laughs> SMU scores. No. They pulled me, they scored, and Stanford hasn't whiffed a score in so long. No. We had 28 points in the first half and zero, zero in the second half. I'll be honest, every time we were in, I think we made a really big impact. I'm really happy with how that game went. I'm just bummed out that offense went for a donut. And it looks like every single game, our tackle leader is Colin Wright. It's just gotta be a Stanford defense thing. It's not It's not normal for the corners to have the most tackles. Corner, corner, middle linebacker, Josiah Galvin, did have eight, okay. So he's still getting quality reps. 
I had three all solo. I don't think I'm truly the starter. I, you know what I think? I think Josiah Galvin is the sub linebacker. So that's why I'm coming out so much, despite technically being MLB1. Just got to get our overall up, keep improving. We'll get there, boys. I'm not worried yet. Look who's back there. Hi, pretty girl. You want to go outside? Somebody wants to go outside. Somebody doesn't care that I'm struggling as a middle linebacker. The rest of the season looked very similar until we got to the end of the year, when something very unexpected happened. The season just came to the close. I am fresh oh, all ACC. I do gotta give myself a little credit. I'm sitting here complaining that it's been a very tough year and I wasn't as active as I wanted to be. I'm a redshirt freshman. And frankly, most freshmen across the entire league are not playing at all. I had 17 tackles, two deflections, an interception, and one TFL. And that got me freshman all ACC. So really at the end of the day, I gotta be grateful that I got any reps at all. We upgraded our player and we're learning. So I, I am excited about that. Talk about Poverty Bowl. We are in the Pop-Tarts Bowl. Just kidding, I mean, maybe this is a good bowl game, I don't know. We're taking on the Mountaineers who are usually good. This could be an interesting game. And for the record, gentlemen, if you ever see that on your screen, you definitely messed up. I was under the impression that if you had a 2-0 GPA, that was the cutoff to be eligible. I was wrong. Having a 2-0 GPA is the cutoff to be ineligible, meaning you actually need a 2.1. Since there's no classes left, there's nothing I can do about this. I'm gonna have to sit out of the prestigious Pop-Tarts Bowl. So as a Stanford Cardinal, we end the season seven and six with six skill points. Now I do know that spending these four skill points on IQ would definitely take my overall up. We technically could do pass coverage and IQ. Now that just isn't smart. I need to hold these and put them in quickness. I need to be faster. So we gotta save up and get four more skill points. Stanford would be very excited to have me back. They're claiming I would be a starter. But I'm gonna be honest. I mean, just look at what Stanford does with their middle linebackers. I mean, if you look at total tackles for this team, corner, right outside linebacker, strong safety corner, corner, left outside linebacker, right outside linebacker, and then it's Josiah Galvin. Granted, he was injured, right? But even in my games, look at me and Maxwell, we're down here at 23. I think what I need to do is I need to look around the nation at programs. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Take a look at Syracuse. Their starting middle linebacker has all the tackles. Same thing at TCU, same thing at Tennessee, same thing at Texas. I honestly think Stanford is just not a friendly program for a middle linebacker, but frankly, if you're a corner, maybe you do want to go to Stanford. You'd get a ton of reps. You'd be tackling a lot. Look at this. LSU doesn't even have a middle linebacker until all the way down here. I don't want to overthink this too hard, but I do think it's important that we go to a program with a different defensive scheme. Kansas Jayhawks are pretty high on my list. Same with LSU. Washington could be really fun. Potentially, I follow my dad's footsteps, go to North Carolina. And I really wouldn't be a starter at many more programs. A lot of second stringers down here. I'll have to make that decision at the start of the next episode. We got a freshman all ACC under our belt. We're a much higher overall than when we started but we've still got a lot of work to do. I'll see you boys in episode two, where we tackle our sophomore year and look to significantly improve on what we built. I'll see you guys then. Peace.